We had our first meeting actually April of 2015. There was um, interest in another group that we were all involved in, the Sundial Humor Magazine. And we really started in around October of 2015. We kind of were just trying to figure out what we wanted to do as in the group. Um, and since we were all friends, it was really easy. Meetings were really lax. We were trying to get a video out there. We uh, shot our first video uh, over Thanksgiving break and we have not released it because it is awful. The lighting is terrible. We didn't have the right angles. We didn't film it correctly. We didn't have the script anymore, so we couldn't give the script to any of our editors. All right, our guest lecture tonight is Mario Boyardi from Rocky Mountain Community College. Go trees. <laughs> uh, some people try to edit it, but it's nearly impossible to edit, and at this point, our production quality has gotten to the point where it would be like, why did they just release this? We had the experience of attempting to film a video. After that, we decided, hey, let's try to really push to do videos and a live show. And so we started, uh, and we wrote our first sketch uh, for video that's uh, called Chris Hansen Prank Show. <laughs> it was, uh, it's a good idea, and we did it, and we really went after it, and looking back, it's not as uh, bright as we thought it was. Sitting on down. <laughs> Did you just fart? Uh, well, uh, ye who smelt it, dealt it. We, um, really wanted to do at least one live performance by, by before the end of the year. Instead of trying to do our own show, we decided to do, uh, stuff with other people. That way we could still perform, get ourselves out there, but, um, not have all the pressure on us. So we did a Planned Parenthood show, um, and that was the first time we had ever performed live, and that was, a uh, kind of nerve-wracking environment because as good as the audience, the audience was fantastic at that show, but it is kind of nerve-wracking for your first show to ever be is after basically Pan Planned Parenthood is being starting to be defunded and then you have to do a comedy show. For God's sake, the name of the party was You're Just a Piece of Meat. Oh. It was a barbecue themed party. <laughs> Everyone came dressed like a piece of meat. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of nerve-wracking, but it was great. Uh, all the sketches we did, really worked and it was very reassuring because the next day we did the variety show. Through being involved in the sundial we were able to be invited to do a campus-wide comedy collaboration with all five of the comedy groups on campus. <coughs> So we were able to perform for the first time twice in one week, which was very stressful but very rewarding as we were able to see what we were like on stage with an audience. After that we said, hey, let's, we're going to keep doing this. A lot of us live in Columbus, so we kept going over the summer, not as intense, but we kept going over the summer and over the summer we're like, hey, we want to do a show for the beginning of the year. We really wanted to have a Welcome Week show because that's what all the comedy groups on campus have. It's where they get a lot of their fan base, especially from freshmen, where they get a lot of interest in joining the club. After a lot of work, a lot of tap dancing, a lot of musical stuff uh, that was thrown in there. Uh, we, we did a show, uh, the Welcome Week for Ohio State. That was the most rewarding feeling because it was over a year of trying to get this sketch group started, trying to get a full show, and it just like, time and time again, it was just not happening. It was just, this came up, and then this came up, and then like someone wasn't there, and then we were finally able to have that, that full show that was just our show. Archie? Hey, Archie, we were in that class together? Jane? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Hey. Hey is for horses. <laughs> 